All right, it's recording. All right, Shalom, first and foremost. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Chagadash, the Bons, the Apostle, the Great Millstone, and peace salutations to you, Sasakim. Push this word, sincerity, truth, and charity. This is going to be another quick one um, in transit or pretty much before we get um, this, um, before we start recording, we know that. There's a lot of bums around this area we driving past, driving through. We in Chinatown right now. There's just a lot, of, a lot more bums out here. And bros, brother said it's becoming more like a third world country. It's showing you a Babylon, aka America, is falling, man. All right, you got more bums. Now you got more Edomites. That's bums. It's showing you the Lord is um bringing them down too, because you didn't had it decades ago. All right, now you got more and more Edomite bums. You know, you know Jake is prospering more and more in this place. You know, so that's, that's just show you that's one of the signs, one of the many signs that the Lord is taking this place down, man. Yep. Everything's third world country. Like I say, it's become more third world country. Yeah, there's a, um, there's more and more of a gap of um, you know, of uh, the rich and the poor. Yeah. It's pretty much we're in. Uh, we're getting to the point of uh, in this society where the middle class is becoming almost obsolete. It's getting cut out. It's literally if you, you know, you're either rich or you're poor. You know, and um, a lot of people, man, they, they, what does it say? Uh, the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer. That's the saying. And it's very evident. You know, all these, uh, you know, people are like, you know, homelessness is increasing. Uh, you, it's drastic now, man. Yeah. Because, um, you know, L.A. was always bad because of, uh, you know, with homelessness, because of the warm weather in San Diego, stuff like that. But even out here in Chicago, you would, you we always had a home, you know, there's always homeless people. But now it's becoming like there's communities like yep. they're all on the Vidocs, you know, and we're talking about not just in poor areas. Mainly what I've noticed, the homelessness is really in the, the rich areas, you yeah. know, because over here in by Chinatown, if you don't. If you don't know Chicago, Chinatown is, um, you know, pretty prosperous. It's right next to the South Loop, okay? You know, the south part of downtown. And so people got money over here. And then, they're, you know, they're over here, and then you have a lot of them all, all up and down Lakeshore Drive, okay? But on the north part of Lakeshore Drive, over there by Belmont. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice over there. Yeah, Belmont, uh, what else? Uh, Lawrence, Foster, and these areas... They're they're uh, they're nice, they're prosperous. Okay, if you don't like I say, if you don't know Chicago, these areas that I'm telling you about, they're they're well to do. But this is where all the uh, um, these uh, the homelessness is. Okay, but that shows you that this place is cursed. That's it. You know, because if this was a great kingdom, you and you had money, you wouldn't want these problems in your society. You wouldn't want these uh, this problem at your doorsteps. That's it. All right. Con, con. Uh, let me see. I don't know. Shit, I was happened. thinking that uh, scripture in uh, what is it? Uh, Jeremiah, Babylon is suddenly falling. Uh, I don't know if you want to get that. Yeah, yeah, con. Was that fifty? Was that fifty-one? I believe it's fifty-one. Maybe fifty-one and six. What was it eight? Oh yes. Uh, let me see. Um, you started like six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Yes, um Jeremiah fifty one and six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Mm. This is um Babylon all over again. Alright. You uh, uh read um Revelation eighteen, it talks about Babylon being destroyed. This ain't talking about ancient Babylon, because ancient Babylon it's still in um, ex existence, man. Yep. It's still around. Is Iran? It's Iraq, I believe. Oh, Iraq. Okay, come yes, on. my. It's, it's still there. That hasn't been destroyed by no by no damn thermonuclear destruction. So it gotta be another Babylon. That Babylon is America, man. All right. Which Babylon goes to the what is it? Uh, Hebrew world, Hebrew Hebrew word Baba, which means confusion, man. And that's all you got. Here in this place, man. Confusion, man. Yep. All right. 
So it says, uh, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Damn. We recompense. Recompense me in a payback, man. Can I, can I say this with the, yeah. the uh, with homelessness? The reason why it's hitting America so hard is because America has made all these other countries poor, and they can, cause by, how do they do that? By stealing all the natural resources. That's it. Okay. All right. You know they they uh, made basically countries that were prosperous that had because look a lot of these so-called third world countries right they have a not a lot of natural resources and really they should be rich. Okay. See, e Esau, they, they come in there. They do. Uh, they have their economic hitmen. They'll create a war in these areas. You That's know, it. what is it saying? John was a ten and ten. The thief cometh not, but to kill, steal, and destroy. Yep. You know, he rapes, robs, murders, and then now all of a sudden, that that prosperous, you know, country that had you know a lot of natural resources, it became what a third world country. Mm -hmm. There's nothing but uh, a robbery. You know, crime, theft, murder. And you could thank Esau, man, because he, he pretty much put these people in these situations. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in South America or in, uh, you know, parts of Asia or, you know, in Africa. This man was, as it tells you in the scriptures, it says in the book of Revelation, I think the sixth chapter, it says the red horse shall take peace from the earth. Yeah, Revelation, Revelation 6 and 4. Lord willing, we get that scripture. Yeah, and it, it said what? That, um, that, uh, that, you know, swords were given into the into the uh, people's hands so they can kill one another. Yep. All right. You can thank Esau for all this warfare and destruction. Kind. When you got certain of these other countries like Africa, they see see that this man's a problem. They want his ass out of their country, man. You know. Yep. So. Uh, but that's why all this homelessness is uh, uh coming to this place because. Um, you know, at one point, because you got, you know, because you mentioned about these Edomites, uh, there's an increase in um, uh, homeless Edom. Edomites, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Hey, these people's forefathers went into all these other countries and, you know, and damaged, you know, the lands and destroyed everything. Now everything's falling upon their children. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why it talks about what? They're going to complain about an ungodly father? That's it. Now that's why they're like, oh God, we need justice, we need peace. It's a, it's the it's the ninety nine percent against the the one percent. That's why you have that right now. That's it. Because these Edomites, as a whole, they're feeling the heat, and it started off with the low level ones, man. That's it. That's uh, was a complain complain of an ungodly father. That's, that's it. A, that's a Sirach, uh, I believe forty one mm -hmm. and seven, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. All right, you know. So uh, and then now you got Edomites begging now, where it was Jake begging for. <laughs> you go, yeah, you go, uh, you know, like how, how Jake, like how it was back in the day with Jake being in front of a, a storefront. You go in, they begging you for a dollar and shit. Nah, he, he saw doing that now. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're the main ones. Yeah. You, they, you'll see them. They'll have their little backpacks, their little camel, like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. clothing, and they'll have, like, a dog, and they'll be, it look like some, it look like some, uh, a thing out of Mad Max or something, man. Looking dirty as hell. Got a mullet. Yeah, <laughs> a mullet and a, a septum piercing, asking you and tattoos on the face, asking for, uh, can, can I get a dollar? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that thing that Dave Chappelle did. Remember that guy's? Can I get a dollar? Yeah. He's like, yeah. Then he ended up taking the money from the bums. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 was it half baked? Or oh yeah, it was half baked. Yeah, cause <laughs> that shit. And he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, Kai. He, he, he made it look like he's giving the money, but he actually taking the money. He had the little uh, shit on the side, how much money he had left. <laughs> that shit, he was like, he was like, thank you, brother. He was like, no, thank you. God, <laughs> yeah. God. So it says, um, <laughs> verse 7, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Mm. hand. Yeah, it was that golden cup, meaning that it was that society that was exalted. Yep. You no, know, it was uplifting. Now look at this place. It's the home of the freaks, man. That's it. All right? Matter of fact, like you, said, you know, like you said, it is look like more like a third world country. Look at these damn buildings, this, these damn bridges, and all this shit, man. All decrepit. Yeah, all decrepit and shit, man. All right. All these trash everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, you go to these major cities, man. You know, like in New York, Chicago, L.A. There's always trash everywhere. No one has any, you know. And that's another thing too. Hey, you saw this um, 
polluted these people's minds. They have no morality. You know, that they don't have any um, what was it, a common courtesy. Mm-hmm. So everything just looks like it looks like a big dump. America's a big dump. That's it. There's no help in this place. Lord has plans on destroying this place. All right. It's going to be turned to a big desert, as the scriptures say, man. All right. So it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nation have drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. You follow the way, the, the wicked ways of this place, man. All right. How the hell, like, like Ishmael, they women go for long dress dresses, uh, long garments with their head covered to wearing pants now and their head uncovered, being yeah. whore, being whores, man. I, I've seen that because, you know, uh, I've been up north a lot, right? Uh-huh. You know, for work and, you know, whatever, just my travels, right? You'll have three generations. You have a grandma, a mother, and a daughter. Oh, right? yep, yep. You'll see this. You'll see the grandmother be fully covered yep. head to toe. Then the mom, she'll have jeans on, but she'll have her head wrap on, you know what I'm saying, stuff yeah. like that. Then the daughter is dressed, you have hair out, makeup, you know, uh, showing off her breast, all that stuff. That's it. No, no shame. And then that's how fast the, um, they get polluted, you know, their minds get, you know, changed and warped. That's it. You got some of them Ishmael, Ishmaelite men, some of them, they see that and they get vexed at that shit, man. Well, there's a huge fight in, uh, in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. You know, they, 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 there's many reasons why these Ishmaelites are fighting. They don't want their natural resources to be taken. But another reason why is because they've seen what democracy has done to the world. That's it. They don't want their women out of order. They don't want sodomites around them. They don't want uh, unclean food, you know, whether it be uh, abominable food or whether it be GMO food. They don't want that in their country. That's it. And God. Yeah, this is um, verse 7. The Lord, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's head that made all the earth drunken. The nations are half drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If it be so, she may be healed. <laughs> we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let, her go, let, and let us go. Everyone, it's his own country for her judgment reaching unto heaven. Damn, her judgment reaching unto heaven. Her sins reaching unto heaven. Mm-hmm. All right. This is that whore spoken. This is that whore spoken of in Revelation, the 17th chapter. This is America, aka Babylon, man. Yep. All right. And uh, we talked about how, you know, Babylon is falling, mm-hmm. you know. That's and it. How she can't be healed. America's done. That's why you're seeing um, the decline of this society. Everything is just getting progressively worse. It doesn't matter what aspect of life you look at. It's getting worse and worse and worse. We were just talking about I had uh, my, my tripod. Get, it broke. I barely touched it. Uh huh. I literally barely pulled it and it broke. And that's because the material is so cheap now. It, it, you know, it went from like, you know, back in the day, you used to use like, you know, metals, steel. Nice and strong, you know, material. It would last you 20 years. Yeah. Then they, they turned it into plastic. At least back in the day, the plastic was hard. It would take a while for it to break. Now, the stuff is so cheaply made, it, it could break the same day you got you have it. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I was telling them, too. When that happened, I was telling them, too. Uh, got these headphones. They were like $50. They had good sound or whatever, you know. It's good sound. You know, because it's $50. But the material cheap. That man, I had these. They was on my head. They was just on my head. I, I don't know if I was listening to uh, the apostles or uh, music. You know, that's usually what I mostly do. I right? listen to apostles, music, you know, um, things like that. I just had these headphones on my head and they snapped. Why on my head? So I didn't do shit. <laughs> they were just on my head, man. That just shows you how cheap the material is, man. Yep. All right. But um, it says... And that's a sign of the... Uh, the uh, this place is declining. Because if you look at, like, Rome, right? Mm-hmm. One of uh, They talked about... You no, know, they talked about several, several reasons why Rome fell. 
and it talked about you know uh, basically like uh, materials being mixed together, yep. right? Cheap materials being mixed together to you know basically you know to be used for you know building things, and that's what this place does. Like for instance, these um like newer you know condos or you know high rises. Even these new homes, you can see that the bricks and all that is is a bunch of you know cheap you know uh, materials mixed together in one thing. Yeah, it looks so cheap. It like on on a windy day, it should collapse. Yeah, and you look at these old um, buildings, you can tell like no, that's that, that's a real stone. That's a limestone. That's real know, whatever, brick. Yeah, it's real brick. You know, this stuff is that's real material. Cause I've seen it. You see the, uh, you know, cause I live in an older neighborhood. You look at the old houses and you look at the new houses that are built next to it, and you can literally see, even though that older house is, that house was made in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You can see how th those houses are gonna outlast the, the, the homes that just got built in 2020. Yep. That's it. So um, it says. Um, what is everyone doing? I don't know. But it says. Um, <laughs> For a judgment had reached unto the heaven, and it's lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare Zion, the work of the Lord, our power. Make bright, bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, which are Russia. Russia. For his devices is against Babylon. And to destroy it. So Lord go use the Medes, which are the Russians, to destroy his place. Send the nuclear missiles on this place, man. Alright? That's beautiful. Kyle. Because it is the vengeance. Oh, it look hey, check that. For the Lord had raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. <laughs> the Lord, <laughs> the Lord got a plan on destroying this place. That's the vengeance of the Lord, man. Because this place is wicked. It's evil. It's contrary to the ways of the Lord. You put your hands on the Lord's people, His elect. These are man. I go on forever. The reason why the Lord will destroy this place, man. All right. Uh, let me see. Now, let me get get that scripture and um. Since you quoted it, you probably end off with this unless you had something else. So, hey, the Lord will destroy this place, man. This is a Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, which horse means, horse represents power. All right. There was another horse went out that was red. And the scripture tell you, hey, you read Genesis 25th chapter, Scripture said the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. That's talking about Esau Edom. Because when you really look at these Edomites, they're not white, they're red, man. All right? Get a good look at them, man. All right? That's the old saying, rednecks. That's it. Hey, man, you see these devils be wearing their little suits of tie, their white shirt. It do not match the color of their skin. Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump. Now, if they wear a red shirt, that's boy. Hey, I remember this uh picture. Um, <laughs> uh, it was some picture. Uh, some brother put together. It, it was like the his. I guess we said the history of the Edomites. <laughs> it was the, the different pictures of these Edomites. You had the, the cave beasts, all hairy. You, I, I think you remember seeing that picture. You had the kid. Then he had a baby with a red sweater on. It matched matched the color of his skin. So they red, man. This man had a red. This baby had a. That Edomite baby had on a red sweater matching his skin complexion. All right? So they red, man. There went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. He didn't get the power of his own accord. Like, like he's some great guy. The Lord gave him that power. The Lord raised him up. This man was in the, in the, in the he was a caveman, Bran. All right? The Lord took, well, script tell you the most I set up over them the basis of man. The Lord can raise up anybody to be in, to, to rule the earth, to be in power. All right? He, 
then he did that to his devil. This man can't come from the cave brand. Now he rules the earth, man. That's the power of the Lord, man. So it said power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. He done just that. And that they should kill one another. Mm. And there was given unto him a great sword. Which that was the blessing given to him by Isaac. Which is how it shot in reincarnation. And it's funny. Hey, Isaac, I say this, I've been saying this for a while. Isaac gave him that blessing. And how shot is going to come back and take that blessing away from his red ass, man. Yep. All right. So there you go, man. That's... Um, that's what this devil's done. Ever since he's been in power. They say the thief coming out but to steal, kill, and destroy. This devil's done just that. He came over here, which Babylon, you know, was once, uh, you know, uh, the, the natives over here. Gad, Reuben, Issachar, they was once over here. This devil came over here and stole their land, man. That's why the scriptures say um, in um, Deuteronomy, uh, let me end off with that. Deuteronomy 27. We almost to our destination. Deuteronomy 27 and 17 says, Cursed be he that removeth his neighbor's landmarks. And all the people should say amen. So this devil's guilty of re removing the landmarks, man. This man, this man does nothing but take other people's lands, man. He did that with the Greeks, which was once, that was the um, Japheth's land, the Greek, the Greek Rome and all that, that was once Japheth's land. What did that devil do? He came to their land and took their land. Put his face up. And put his face up, man. That's why these damn dummies get confused of who Japheth is. No, Japheth is not, not Esau Edom. Esau just came in and took their land, man. All right? He did that over here in America. This wasn't called America before Gad. You know, when Gad was over here, this wasn't called America. It was called America after Esau Edom came in over here and took their land. And America goes, um, is named after the devil named America Vespucci, which America, it means bitter, man. That's what America means, it's bitter. When you go into... Um you got to do a lot of research and like you know basically word search basically goes into the hebrew word marar right all right which um that's miriam all right but it's marar in the um i believe it's marar in the uh in the hebrew and then uh, uh that word just means bitter you know mm -hmm. so yeah man that's um hey, that's it we're gonna close out you got anything else you want to bring out? No, that was it. So with that, like you all praise on and glory to you. by Shem, you have shot by Shem Rakhakwadash. Double answer, apostle is a great millstone. Peace citations to society and push his words, sincerity, truth, and charity. That's say shalom.